Hello, I'm Muddy Slim, and I'm going to show you how to play the guitar for the song Fresh Garbage by Spirit. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel below, Mr. Mighty Slim. And now, let's get started here. Uh, you have a couple different sections, and we'll describe all of those uh, for you. And uh, so, we have the main riff, which is going to happen twice with the keyboards and the bass. And then the guitar comes in with the main riff, and this is how it's played. <laughs> And that, of course, that's the main riff, of course. And uh, how do you play it? You're going to go open A string to the seventh fret of the D, fourth fret on the G, fifth fret on the D. So then open D to the seventh fret of the G, fifth fret on the B to 5th fret on the G. So everything we did up to there. And now I'm going to go 5-7 to 5-7 on the A to 5-7 on the D. And that is your main riff. The whole section played. Slow here it is. Alright, that's like I said, that's gonna come in the third cycle uh in the intro. Then you're gonna do what I call the uh a tritone lick. Here's the sound of a tritone. Almost your purple haze. Your purple haze lick there. Or kind of sound at the beginning. Anyway, that's a mighty tritone. So we're going to play the, uh, we're going to go, I'm going to go. So that's the 7th fret of the D. All these are, are, are plucked five times. So 7th fret of the D. 4th fret of the, uh, no, so 7th fret of the D. 6th fret on the A. 7th fret on the A to 6th fret on the E. So once again, the whole thing. You can do them as chords if you like. And if you want to do them as power chord, uh, so the first power chord, of course, would be this. So I take my original note, and then I put the rest of the power chord down. So a power chord, hopefully you know what a power chord is. You're going to go one string across, and then, and then two down this way. So here's the 7th on the A, and the 9th on the G. That's the power chord, and that's the shape. You can move that anywhere. So anyway, so uh, 7, 6, 6 on the A, 7 on the A, to 6 on the, on the E. You can do that if you want to do them with chords. Now, although I hear them as single notes, uh, you can also replace your first chord, right, uh, instead of this, you're doing it an octave down. So you have the 5th fret of the E string to the 7th fret on the uh, A string. And then the rest will be the same. So in that case, it, it would be it would sound like... Now we start singing Fresh, fresh Garbage. Fresh Garbage, you're going to do the uh, riff the main riff three times. Main riff three times, of course, is the... Make sure we play it right now. Right, you do that three times, and then and then the uh, tritone lick. And now we have the uh, chords of Look Beneath Your Lid Some Morning. See those things you did not quite consume. The world's a camp for your fresh garbage, which is the... Uh, Look beneath your lid some morning. See those things you did not quite get to. And then, and then, uh, we'll, we'll finish it out here. The world's a can for your fresh garbage. All right. So the first and the third are the same. The middle one is different. What are the first and the third? 
you're going to go fifth fret on the E string, power chord, to the third fret, so the, uh, which is a uh, G chord, third fret, so five, three, and that, now we're going to go three, five on the A, so third fret, power chord, uh, sorry, my, my uh, uh, third finger on the uh, uh, third finger on the A string, and then to the fifth fret on the uh, D string. So there's my power chord. So that's a C, C. So so three five, and then five to seven on the uh, starting on the D string. Here's my fifth fret power chord and then I slide it up a whole step so the whole thing again so look beneath your lips some morning now see those things you and see so I'm gonna go five to three again see those things you now I'm gonna go uh, here's the fifth fret on the D and Right, the D and the seventh fret on the G, that power chord. And now I'm gonna move it down. I'm gonna move it down uh, to the A string. So now it's the fifth fret power chord starting on the A string. Seventh fret power chord on the A string. And then three five. Also on the A string. So uh, see those things you did not quite consume. 3-5, right, quite good zoom. Now, we're going to do the first one again that we did before. So the world's a can for your fresh garbage, like we had done before. And now we have the... Uh, we have the... Uh, we have the swank lick. So, the... Uh, Swank lick is the seventh fret of the G string, uh, bent up, uh, bent up a whole step to the fifth fret on the uh, G string. Then now the seventh fret on the G string, fifth fret on the uh, G string to the seventh again, five. So up and down. Five, seven, five, that's all on the G string. Now I'm seven, five, seven, five on the D string. To the seven on the A. To the five on the A. So. And now we're going to do the chords that we did of the look beneath your lid some morning. Uh that we talked about before. Then we'll do that section again. So look beneath your lid some morning. See those things you did not quite consume. Then the world's a king for All right, your fresh garbage. The swank leg again. Then you're gonna hold this note down. You're, and as you're holding it down, the bass comes in, all right? And ultimately, you're gonna bend this note just a little bit, so it'll be played. And then you'll bend it up ever so slightly. Okay, and, and what happens, the way I count it is this. Once I hit that note, one, two, three, right? Uh, so, uh, I hit that note. I, I hit that note is one, two, three. Then the bass will come in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, two, three, four, five, six. Three, two, three, four, five, six. So four bars. Four, two, three. The last four, five, six of that measure. So four, two, three, four, five, six is when I start to bend the note. Then we have the keyboard solo. Now, in the keyboard solo. I'm changing my setting here. There's about eight bars that happen of keyboard. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
You can count at eight. And then the guitar starts slightly coming back in. I like to do an arpeggio. You can actually, actually do uh, the chords if you like. And do the chords. Anyway, so that's basically a G chord and an A chord. Let's play the arpeggio. And, and sometimes, like I said, you can play them or you can arpeggiate them. And if I were to arpeggiate it, uh, the, the notes uh, and also played uh, all together if you wanted to do just the chord is a uh, fifth fret on the D string fourth fret on the G third fret on the B and and then we'll slide it up a whole step and do that again Okay, so uh, now what's going to happen at the end of that? So at the end of that, the keyboard, I'm just changing my setting back here. The keyboard will go, we'll do that. You'll, so listen for that. That's going to be your cue. Once it's done, once it does that twice, the... It does that twice. Bam, 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 bam. Again, bam, 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 bam. Then the guitar will come in and go. We'll do that three times. Okay, so the third time. Uh, right, it'll do it three times. There's something that happens at the third time that I'll describe in a second. But anyway, so how do you play that? That's the seventh fret of the D string. Fifth fret on the D, seventh fret on the A, and then and then fifth fret of the D. We'll do that three times. And then I'm gonna go. And what is that? I'm going back and forth on the seventh fret on the D string, right? And how I I'm just going back and forth. And the way I count it is one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. And then make sure I strike it correctly. And then I'll strike a final uh, 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 note, which would be the seventh fret, of course, of the D string. So one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, and, and then strike the note. Okay, you also hear the third time of the you also hear the seventh fret of the G string bent up a whole step and back so that's the seventh fret on the G bent up to the ninth fret and back down uh, you'll, you'll hear that as well so uh, I personally like to do the uh, three times and then of course they and, and do that okay so now what happens now you're going back into the intro okay so the intro of course is the main riff without the guitar twice then the guitar comes in for the third time then the uh, uh, tritone lick right and then we have uh, fresh garbage the lick three times Main riff, main riff, uh, three times, then the tritone lick. Now we're gonna go. We're gonna play the chords of "Look Beneath Your Lips a Morning." We'll do it again, or we'll do we'll do everything that we did did in that chord section. See those things you did not quite consume. The world's a can for your fresh garbage. Now we have the swank lick. All right, so. But instead of hitting the last note there, what's gonna happen is this. I'm gonna go. And that's what I'm gonna do. So instead of playing that note, uh, I basically, Sometimes I'll, I'll play it and slide it. Sometimes I'll just kind of slide, kind of starting from that, that, that note. 
note there on the A string, the second to last note, and go. And I'll kind of slide up to maybe the, uh, the 15th fret on the A. And then my final note will be this D note right here. And that's the 5th fret of the uh, A string. There you have it. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. Uh, please leave a comment below. Give me a, a thumbs up if you liked it. I sincerely hope you found it helpful. And this is a, a, a fun song and a great song at that. And be careful uh, when you look your, beneath your lid. There might be a lot of garbage underneath. Fresh, smelly garbage. So anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, we'll see you all when the future gets here. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Mighty Slim, over and out.